Fishing News is sponsored by these fine partners. Today is Thursday, April 21st, and this is the Fisherman Magazine's weekly video fishing forecast. Each week, the Fisherman's Digital Magazine has great content. This week, we have a great read by Jerry Audet on best lighting to use when fishing at night. The digital edition is out every Monday during the fishing season. And of course, if you're a Fisherman subscriber, you can compete in our Dreamboat Contest and Coastal Kayak Clash. We also have another giveaway going on until the end of the month with Seagar Lines. If you enter into our free e-newsletter, we're automatically putting you in the drawing for your line bundle from Seagar. Click the link in the description below to sign up. All right, now let's go around the map and let me tell you what I'm hearing. I managed to get out last week and had some good luck fishing the western bays on the island with swimming plugs. Higher parts of the tide seem to be the key. I also heard on the opposite shore by Jay Bay, they are coming alive with stripers as well. The fish also are spreading to the east from Robert Moses to Smith's Point and even out in the Hamptons. Schoolies are being caught on small lures and soft plastics on jig heads. I did hear a rumor that a few weak fish were coming up, but nothing has been confirmed yet. Hopefully by next week we have our first weak fish reports. It's time for our correspondents to check in. Let's start off with Captain Timothy O'Rourke from Montauk. Tim. Thank you, Matt. Well, greetings everybody from Ishkalak, Mexico. I'm down here for the week doing some bonefish permit, tarpon fishing. So I should have some more pictures, hopefully, next week. Um, I'm just starting my fishing trip this morning. Uh, on the local note, the striped bass are starting to show up. Charlie Beck, um, he sent me a couple pictures of some small stripers, little schoolie runners that he's been catching lately. So the bass are starting to fill in. Um, also on a little uh, cod fish note, there's been a couple guys locally in Montauk who have gone out and scored some codfish. Um, they're kind of tight-lipped on that because there's not too many guys trying to go right now. They had a nice little weather window and they took advantage of that. Um, there's a lot of bait showing up. Um, we're seeing a lot of gannets diving, um, some herring around, and there's other bait species coming around too. So I'm trying to be a little aloof on that until everything fits in, fills in pretty good. Um, when I get back on the 26th, my boat goes in the water and I pretty much start my fishing season early May. Last year, the beginning of May, I had some of the best blue fishing of the season. Some really big 18, 15, 18 pound gator bluefish showed up early in the season. So hopefully that repeats itself. Um, next week, hopefully I'll have some good stuff from Ishklak. Everybody enjoy. Thank you, Matt. From Shinnecock, let's check in with Mike Dean. Thanks, Matt. Hey, everyone. Well, my claim of having a striped bass picture for you this week is uh, not going to happen. <laughs> um, I haven't gotten a lot of time in. This wind has been a little rough the last couple of days, so I did not have any luck. I haven't heard of too many reports, you know, other than, you know, uh, what most people think were holdovers. Last week, a friend of mine had gotten a small one with some sea lice on it, so they are around. They're just, you know, playing that hide-and-go-seek early spring kind of game. Uh, I know the other night at one of the bridges in the back bay, um, someone had hooked into, you know, what they thought was probably about maybe a 15 pound fish. So, you know, enough to motivate me to get out there after I shoot this, I'm gonna go out and most likely since the video already go in, um, I'll probably get one. So you'll see that next week. Um, you know, like I mentioned last week, the fluke season's coming up. And uh, from what I've heard that some of the commercial draggers have, you know, in their bycatch have gotten some flukes. So be ready to go in the next few weeks when uh, fluke season officially opens up. Obviously, if you want to release any, you can do that now. Uh, reports some porgies, which is open year round over in the Peconics. Uh, there's some weak fish over there as well. Not Nothing really too thick, but they are there. So kind of kind of cool to see that they're back and maybe make the, you know, we had a tremendous bite last year with the weak fish. So that would be nice to see again. Shinnecock Canal has been kind of quiet. Some people that have been drifting worms. I did hear one guy actually did get a, a flounder, which is, uh, I guess, you know, another unicorn kind of species like the weak fish that we hadn't seen in a while. So, um, you know, but just that, just that one fish. So, you know, keep getting out there poking around uh, with the amount of fish to the west of us, like I've been saying the last few weeks, you know, only a matter of time. Unfortunately, some of the water temps you know, making progress have uh, gotten, you know, kicked back to reality with some of this, you know, colder weather we've had, but um, it's going to be good. It's going to be a great season. I know it. So, all right, get out there, catch them up, have fun. I'll talk to you next week as always. 
uh, hit us up down below with comments or on social media with uh, any questions you might have or comments. Don't forget Manhattan Cup, June 3rd at Liberty Land in Jersey. Sign up is available now online at ManhattanCup.com. All right, back to you, Matt. From the Fire Island area in Great South Bay, let's check in with Captain Al Lorenzetti. Hey, Matt. Al Lorenzetti here, Fire Island Report. Uh, there's some blackfish still being caught on the outside pieces. A couple inside, uh, but it's just a slow pick. And uh, a lot of striped bass, schoolie stripe, striped bass, as a bycatch for the people flounder fishing and using clam chum. So that's working out pretty well. Actually, a friend of mine had eight striped bass the other day. In the back bay, we're talking, you know, back by Kismet, West Channel, Dickinson Channel, all in that area of the back bay. So uh, that looks good. Also, cod on the local wrecks offshore. Uh, I got out there, I sailed uh, this past week and had half a dozen nice codfish and a bunch of shorts. So I'll be doing that. I got plenty of open dates if you want to try and get that in somebody. And uh, that's about it for this week, Matt. Take care, catch them up, talk to you next week. With our fly and freshwater report, we have Paul McCain from River Bay Outfitters. Hello, Matt. Well, here we are. It is on my, my way to Green Island. We have a shop trip. I don't know. It's pretty windy. We'll see what we can do. Unfortunately, I hurt myself this the other day with my arm, and I, I could barely pick it up. I mean, it's better today, but that has to do, I think, more with the pain meds that are on mine. So I'm not going to be fishing, but I'm going to walk around and help everybody out. Uh, hopefully, uh, they're going to have a good day. We'll see. It is windy. It is April. But Sunday, what a day, right? My son and I and uh, good friend Tom, we made plans. And uh, in the sh uh, shop friend, uh, Joel, he asked if he could come along. So we headed all out to uh, the Connect Quad. And we got there fairly early. But uh, we were number 13 on the list. We had When we made reservation, we were number one and two. We got there at six. And we still were late. But we had a good time. Uh, we ended up at beach that I normally don't fish. And you know what? I was very happy uh, that we did, got to fish something else. We saw a lot of fish. We had a lot of fish on. Uh, we did. Uh, my son landed a beautiful rainbow. Tom landed two nice rainbows. I was fortunate enough. I had a brookie and two rainbows. So, I mean, we did have a good time out there. Um, and it, you learn something, you know, get out of your comfort zone. Don't just fish the same beats. Move around, try different things. There are fish everywhere in that park. So uh, as far as the soil water goes, I'm hearing really good things. When the weather, weather cooperates, so right now it's windy. So I don't think we're going to be uh, doing too much tonight, but it's good to see. I haven't been down to Green Island at all this year. So I want to get down there and check it out. Uh, I do want to make it a point that uh, the, all the fresh water is fishing very well. Even with the rain we had last night, uh, the ponds are a little off color, but sometimes that just sparks the feeding too. So if you got time, get down and fish the ponds. There are a ton. People are still catching trout, even in, in the Hempstead Lakes area, because they should, you know, they're, they're not going to survive July, uh, come the end of May, June, they're not going to survive. It gets too warm. But they're, they're holdovers, and they're really nice-sized trout. So don't forget, you know, get out there while you can. Uh, this The season's just starting. I have high hopes. I'm looking forward to it. Um, well, we'll see. Anyway, uh, to next week, tie lines. Hopefully my arm will feel better. From Jamaica Bay to the west, let's check in with Chris Landry. Chris. Thanks, Matt. More good news. The bass are all over Jamaica Bay from Coney Island to JFK. Everywhere you look, you're liable to find some bass. We got them on every method from top water to slow pitch jigging, which I predict will be an increasing trend this year. It's a super fun way to catch them on these light slow pitch rods. They bend right over like a noodle and they don't break. Also, light tackle anything, 15 pound braid is all you need. Uh, never get broken off with bass at 15 pound braid. Uh, Carl Newman and I tagged a bass through the Littoral Society tags. You can contact them through their Instagram or website if you want to get some tags and participate in the program. Seems to be only bass in the bay. There's no fluke yet, no, not even sea robins. 
and uh, mostly schooly sized bass with occasional slots and rare overslots. Uh, Jamaica Bay is about a month behind Raritan where all the monsters are. Uh, the monster should be coming up more to Rockaway Beach in the next couple weeks. So get out there, tight lines, and catch and release. Thanks, Matt. If you would like to be a part of our weekly video fishing forecast, we are looking for social media savvy anglers for hyperlocal reporting from around the New York metro and Long Island area. So if you're a captain, tackle shop, or just an avid angler, contact my producer at libayrat at gmail.com. Remember to like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we post a new video on YouTube. And check out this video's description on YouTube for all the related links and index for specific reports. Please support our correspondents by visiting their websites and social media pages. See you right here next week at thefisherman.com.